and unfortunately or fortunately some media play along with that and uh, it is very clear that rahul gandhi after his short appearance in wayanad where over 300 people have died he is a sitting mp of wayanad twice elected by the people of wayanad to look after their interests to protect them and has done nothing in the last uh, many years today wants to wriggle out of the issue and scrutiny of wayanad and his accountability and is creating these new narratives he wants to be the center of attention he wants to be playing the victim card look you can do this once you can fool people sometime you cannot fool people all the time this is nothing but a silly ham-handed effort by rahul gandhi to take the news story away from wayanad and on to this make believe imaginary uh, attempt by the ed on him Okay, but uh, EDCBI and others are working as a BT mobility, like they always think. They no, look. The, the fact of the matter is, the Indi Alliance today. If you look at any political party in the Indi Alliance, everybody, whether it is a DMK, whether it is Congress, they are neck deep in scams, they are neck deep in corruption, they are neck deep in looting and taking public money and misusing it. So, therefore, if the law catches up with them, they can't blame the law. for catching up with them when they are the ones violating the law and uh, indulging in corruption and loot for not one year not two years but for decades under narendra modi ji whoever commits a crime whoever loots money meant for the poor will face consequences that does not matter whether they are in the indi alliance or they are out of the indi alliance if you have looted people money meant for the poor of this country you will face the consequences 100% whether you are rahul gandhi or whether you are a raja or you are in one dmk or you are in tmc if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now 